All right, so now we've built our foundation of the drum kit from the D6 on the kick drum to the I5 on the snare drum. And the next stage, you're going to want to add overheads, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Especially if, uh, as you get into larger venues, uh, you need some presence of the cymbals to cut through to the back row. You're mm -hmm. always trying to sell it to the back row. And in this case, we're using condenser mics. And this is the ADX 51s from Audix. Uh, great mics. They also have switchable roll-off, so I can roll off the low end. And they have a 10 dB pad built in. Mm -hmm. So they're excellent for all styles of music. Let's give a listen to what these sound like as we add in the kick drum, the snare drum, and we add in the ADX 51s on the overheads. One of the great things about having these Audix 51 overhead mics is not only they're catching the cymbals, the brass, but you're picking up the toms and you're also adding a dimension to the kick drum and the snare that the close mics won't necessarily give. Yeah, capturing some of the room makes it a complete drum set, not just a collection of individual drums. Which is what this is. This is a, an instrument, not just a solo instrument, although the, the microphones will make each instrument sound good on its own. We want to make sure that they work in concert together to give you a realistic drum sound, live or in the studio. Now, let's talk about where we're going to position these microphones. Absolutely. This adds the room dimension. In addition to capturing the drums, it actually is capturing a lot of the ambient sound of the room. Uh, in this position, it's a pretty neutral position. I get some room, but I'm getting a lot of close sound of the cymbals, close miking sound. If I want a little more ambient or presence of the room in my sound, I'm just going to raise the mics up. If I want a, a sound that has less room sound, a more direct sound from the cymbals, I'm going to pull them down closer to the cymbals. Another thing to point out here is you notice that the mic is on the axis of what the, where the cymbals swing. Mm -hmm. If I put them off axis, I run the risk of, get, of getting swirling. Kind of a washy sound, right? Washy sound, not a good sound. Yeah. So make sure you're on the axis of the cymbals. Mm -hmm. And if you're relying a lot on overheads for your sound, having them equidistant from the center of the snare drum is always a good plan. It gives you a more accurate picture of the actual drum sound, right? It does. and. Uh, does away with some phase problems. If you have a loud band and you're in a small place, you have some Marshall amps on the side and a bass amp right next to you, you probably want to bring these down closer to the drum kit and capture more of the immediate sound of the drums. Absolutely, because guitars are, as you know, you're a guitar player, yes, right, I Dan? Am. Loud as heck, mm -hmm. I'm thinking. <laughs> In addition to the ADX51s, Audix makes two other microphones that are great for overheads. This is the SCX-1, wonderful for live performance. It's a small diaphragm condenser. Another mic in Audix's line is the SCX-25A. This is a larger diaphragm. It's suited for live playing. It's very sensitive and gets a lot of openness to its sound. And it's a wonderful mic for the studio.